All right, we're at another horse sale today, and this is gonna be a two-day sale. The cow and stock type horses are selling tonight, and tomorrow draft horses are selling. And I noticed out here, there's some draft, equi draft horse equipment, and this is what I'm really wanting for Oliver. This is what I'm lacking. This item here is called a, a four cart. Um, and what it can be used for is it's kind of like the utility vehicle for stock horses or for, I mean, for uh, draft horses. So what it is, you know, obviously Oliver goes in here in the shafts and this, this connects up and what holds the, uh, the shafts hold the, the level. And these are the, these would be the, well, I think this would go to the collar or maybe to the brakes. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet, but um anyway right here you can put different size trailer balls and you can use this as a pinnel hitch and you can even top, put like a, a hook on here and use it for like a log and chain to pull logs um and it's got brakes and everything and then on these uh right here you can fashion a seat that would come up and you'd be able to sit here and i'd be able to drive him just as a cart or i can use it to do actual work with. Like I could hook my manure spreader to it. So I'm real interested in this and I'll probably put a bid in on it. Now it's time to go look at all the horses and see what's available today. We like to just walk around and do a cursory inventory of what's there oh, and see like what we're mule, most huh? interested no, in. No. I know, you like this the halflinger. Oh, Hi, sweetie. You are sweet. So this is a halflinger pony, which is a draft pony. And it does look real sweet and it wanted attention right off. It's a mare. Okay, oh. we can bid on it, Em. <laughs> 47. That would cross so good with sweet. Oliver. Her face is just extra pretty. Oh, she's very sweet, too. And she has a side ponytail. And that'd be short enough for you to ride. She's perfect height for me. Oh, I like her, Jayla. Yeah, she's very sweet. Yeah. All right, first horse we've seen and we are already in love. I think we have a disease. Let's see how old you are. She is sweet. Oh, good age too. Just barely 10. Is it a girl? Oh, I'm wrong. I think it's a gelding. I can't see. I think see. you were right. I think it's a mare. Oh, it's a mare? I can't see under there. Well, I can't either, but I think it's a mare. She has feminine vibes. She does. That's what I, mean, I didn't even think about. I can't see under there. You're just in the wrong place. Hi. Okay, well, we can't just settle on the first like one we've the... seen. Okay. <laughs> Let's go look around. Okay. Good little cow pony. Looks like. Yeah, she's sweet. This horse is so cow bred that it actually had a calf. <laughs> dark. <laughs> when, you, when you hear people say their horse is cow bred, you know they're not they're telling the truth when it actually had a calf. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found pineapple. Oh, that looks like a draft cross there. Oh, yeah. Oh, you found pineapple? Is that him? Yeah. You want to go in there and look at him? Mm hmm. Okay, let's go see pineapple. Okay, Emery is always most interested in the ponies. This pony had been advertised before the sale, so we already knew his oh, name, and he was so cute we wanted to make sure to check him out. He's sick too. He's got a real snotty nose. Oh, yep. No. Very sick. I don't even want to touch him. Oh, oh wow. He is yeah. sick. Yeah. He's got pneumonia. Oh no. Probably shipping fever. He's probably been to a lot of sale barns lately, being flipped. So he's Shoot. not doing too well. Oh, here's another cute little pony. What's this? This one? Oh, it's a boy. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's a stallion. We keep looking at all the ponies. Uh, we're wanting to get a friend for Daisy, our little mini. Uh, but they're all stallions, uh, and we're really wanting a mare. Where? Aww. Hi, pretty baby. This is a Cremello or Perlino? You don't remember how to tell the difference. I don't know how to tell the difference either. I think she's a Cremella. I don't really know if you can look at one and tell the difference. I think you almost have to do genetic testing. Yeah. What color is her baby? The buckskin. 
That's a buckskin? Well, that's what they'll call it for sale anyway. I don't know genetically what color it would be called. Hmm. Got a pretty little face. Loose pin horses here as well. Oh, wow. A good old sway that. back on this oh. one. Good lord. But don't hmm. worry, even on these loose pin horses, uh, I know the, the conception out there is that most of them go to um, slaughter, but slaughter prices, the last time I checked, which was earlier this year on horses in Mexico, which is the closest to us geographically, is 37 cents a pound. This horse right here would weigh less than a thousand pounds, but for, for math, let's just say uh, it's a thousand. So that'd be $370 is what the plant would pay for this horse. So when you count in shipping and everything, that horse would have to sell for less than $370 today for it to be considered to be going to slaughter. And you can watch the video later. I'll bet you, you don't see one horse in that price range sell. So probably not any of these horses other than if there's a severe case of neglect would be going to slaughter but some of them are still in more need of help than others and that's not a reflection on the sale barn that's a reflection on the owners if i had a horse that was in such bad shape physically that it was only uh going to be going to slaughter i would just euthanize that animal and not put it through the misery um and if a horse is physically healthy and, and good i'll either keep it or find it a home like uh like we were gonna do with Rosie this year. If she wasn't bred, I had found her a home where another horse just needed a pasture um, buddy and she was gonna go retire there. But to each their own, some people get in hard uh, situations and um, just like when we bought the auction mare and foal earlier this year, uh, Jewel and Magnolia, the, uh, there were some deaths in that man's family and his wife and daughter had the horses and took care of them and both of them passed away within a month of each other and he was left um you know he was not physically able to take care of animals and the caretakers had passed away and so you never know the story on why these are here so you don't want to pass judgment um too harshly what we can judge is the conditions of the sale barn and the floors are clean they're bedded almost everything has a bucket of water um available to them most of the stalls over there that were dropped off uh, earlier or yesterday have hay and automatic waterers. And after a horse goes through the sale, if it's going to be left, they go to the backside that has um, big bales put out with automatic waterers. So this is a pretty good facility. There's no bugs. Everything's, there's, yeah, everything's uh, pretty clean. So it's not the auctions, it's the individuals that make good horse owners or bad horse owners so that's kind of what we wanted to show in these videos um there is some bad there is some good episodes i talked about how there was a little donkey getting picked on and i told you and you ran over there right away moved the app that was picking on it tied it up and took care of the baby yeah i bragged on you i said the people really care that work here <laughs> picking on my ass i'm gonna do something <laughs> That man runs an event called the Missouri Mule Makeover. We'll put a link in the description. Oh, yeah, he's, he's fat, pretty. but he's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. He's dappled. He's real dappled, huh? Second inspection. That one looks better than the first one. Yeah, actually it does, huh? They both do, actually. Hey, babe. Hi, are you friendly? That's your friend, you said? Oh. Good feet. This was a really pretty pony, but again, it was a stallion, so we decided to pass. Hey, buddy. Is, a little, is this a girl? Please be a girl. Please be a girl. Personable. It is pretty. Is it a mare or a gallop? Friendly. Good. Look at the front. When you're assessing a horse, too, you got to look at like how front, how this front structure is shaped. And his legs are just, just straight. And his toes are facing forward. His ankles are good. There's no swelling. 
there's good support on his feet shoulders are good withers are good neck is good his pole everything his confirmation is just beautiful his eye, his eye is pretty gentle and doesn't have the white around it so you don't have the cancer concerns he's friendly curious beautiful good rumps good hawks i mean this is just a quality quality horse um yeah but only and it's a little mare Oh, it is? I was yeah. And I would say barely 14 hands tall. Oh, you're so silky. And silky smooth. So this is a good quality horse. There's some good looking paints in there. Very good looking. Another good looking Appaloosa. A little cow hawk compared to the last one. But we won't say that too loud in case the owner's here. <laughs> Giving me the side eye. Yeah, side eye. Horses can give side eye just like people. My wife gives me the side eye quite often. <laughs> give me the camera back. <laughs> Aww. So, so if you look, the mama here is a gypsy vanner and pony cross. So there's an example of, I bet its mama was a Shetland pony and its daddy is a gypsy vanner. So it would be an example of that maternal constraint that I taught you about in the other video where uh, you could breed a draft all the way down to a pony and then this would be her baby probably back out of another gypsy vanner if I had to guess. Let's get him. I like the mare. It's kind of pretty. We kept coming back to this little mare and checking her over more. She was so sweet and seemed really special. You're a good girl. Guys, just to bother my uh, friend at Free Spirit Equestrian, <laughs> I'm going to text her right now. <laughs> she is pretty. Between the Halflinger and this one is my two favorite of the sales so far. I would say she is four, just looking at her. Yeah, she looks young. No, not even. She's two. Oh, I was going to say, she looks young. She's, she's, she's got a lot of filling out to do. Let's get her. Okay, we'll bid on her. <laughs> I've never owned an Appaloosa before. We'll try it. You know, it's a friendly one. She, she'd be good one for Becca. Like I said, she wanted to try a different breed for flight. Hi, pretty girl. Okay, okay, we're just gonna have to go in there and inspect her a little closer. <laughs> oh, she feels good. She does. Shoulders nice and even. Oh, she's got the thumbprint. What's that mean? Um, I'll have to Google it to explain it to YouTube but there's a, a thumbprint in the muscle of the neck that is an old wise tail. That means it's a good horse. Aww. Um, I'll see if I can move her around and show it to you. Hi, baby. Oh, she's even prettier when you get in here, Jeff. Hi. Hey, look right here. Oh. So this is the thumbprint we're talking about. And it's like a dimple in it. Yeah, it's like a dimple. And it's not a dimple. the wise tale is that that's a. Is it an angel thumbprint or a. No, that's I forget what that's called. Don't bite me. Hey, I like you right now, but if you bite me, I won't like you. Look at this, Em. She likes you. You are a good girl. <laughs> She's 
got real nice looking feet. do you think these horses will get? She ain't gonna get much bigger. Oh, so she's little. But she is young. She might be, she might be even younger than I thought. She might only be a, like a coming two year old. Let me huh. check and see if she's got cats on her. Yeah, she's just a coming two year old, I think. Watch you sell, okay, girl? Maybe we'll find the owner and can ask some questions later. Yeah, this is a pretty black and white paint. It reminds me of Joe Cartwright's horse off of Bonanza. In the comments, I'll give extra bonus points to whoever knows the name of Joe Cartwright's horse in that show. <laughs> Here, I'll get further back. I like red roans. It's made a mess, it's turned its water bucket over. Because every other paddock is dry compared to this one. Oh, really? There's a fox trotter over there. Here's yep. papers. That's the one that. Oh, they're both fox trotters. Oh. So. This one's 23 years old, though. Yeah. Mare? So we had to come back and take a closer look at this halflinger mare. Um, her and the little Appaloosa are our two favorite of the sale so far. What do you look at when you're looking at the feet? Looking for separation of the lamina and the hoof wall and just general shape and condition. This is not the best made halflinger pony there. There's just something about her personality. She seems really sweet. Sweet. She's sweet. Now look at this beautiful chunky mare. The uh, I was talking to the owner. I made friends with the owner in the uh, in the concession stand. She told me she bought her thinking she was a quarter horse, and it ended up being gated. So I'm gonna watch her go and and give my opinion of what gait she's doing and what breed she might be. But I I can see why you would think she's a quarter horse. She's built like a brick house. Is it your first? No. Nice. I think she's a quarter horse standard bread cross. Okay. That's what I think. That's why she's built like that? Yeah, and that's how she travels too. Another half winger pony. They say it's hard to find your dream horse, but here he is. He's one the whole family will love. Five years old, a crossbred gelding, a solid 16 hands tall. Got a good build with great conformation. Thick, beautiful, super calm, quiet, and mellow. All the looks and the brains. A sweet puppy dog disposition. Great around the farm. You see machinery, dogs, cats, doesn't matter. He'll go English. He'll go Western, lope circles, flying changes, an easygoing guy. He's seen all aspects of ranch work, doctored cattle, check fence work, the feedlots. Whether you want to go ranch pleasure, make him a big English horse, or use him to work, he will suit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Number 19 is Watts Pep. He'll be a 2019 model quarter gelding. He's by Watts Roney, by Clayton's Grey Wolf, by Romeo Blue. He's out of a daughter of Odo San Pepe by Mr. San Pepe. 2019 model, he calls him Watson. He's been ranched on the last two years, roped cattle outside, sorted in the pens, likely started in the healing, the breakaway, and on the barrels. He's easy to catch, clip, bathe, and shoe a gentleman in the stall and with other horses. Stand 14.3, weight 1,200, all the shape and bone, a quality prospect. <laughs> model quarter gelding by the shine by the great shining spark and out of a daughter at top amigo king by top brandon again 05 model <laughs> Old gelding. He'll be gentle. He's a ranch ridden, good young horse, gathered on in the pastures, uh, calved on last spring. 100% sound, stays gentle, just six years old, guys. Tip number 27 is Peach. Peach is a six year old halflinger mare. B13, three hands tall. This little mare has a mind that wants to work and the athleticism to make it happen. She'll have a smooth stop back and turn around. She's been hauled everywhere. She's pushed cattle and she's been trail ridden. You can't ask for a prettier little horse. She's ready for a full-time job. She's been adjusted by the chiropractor. She's gonna come to you with new shoes and has recently seen the dentist as well. Is a well put together gelding, been used on the ranch and big pastures to rope and gather bucking stock. You can tie one off or you can pull one. He will do it all. New shoes all the way around and ready to go to work. This is Shrek. He's hip number 34. He is a 10-year-old gelding. He's been healed on and he's been breakawayed on, used in all aspects of ranch work, and he's been used like a big horse. He's got a big stop, he lopes pretty circles, rides around one-handed and the way one is supposed to. He'll go through the creeks and over the logs, a very fancy pony, 100% sound, 10 years old. This little girl brought five or six little ponies and they all did a really good job. Video is up, hip 41 is Nemo. He's a loud colored seven year old gelding, 14 two hands tall. He's been used in their trail horse string of horses for the last month. He enjoys doing the obstacles. He's been on a few fox hunts, a great mover. If you want to make a great little hunter out of him, you watch that video. I'm going to fast forward through the grooming part here, but nice little horse. Family package guys, look here. This is an eight-year-old gypsy mare. That baby on her side is a two-month-old filly. She is by a registered gypsy stallion. This mare is broke to ride and drive. She's been on many wagon trains riding and pulling a wagon. Baby has been handled since birth. Baby is super friendly and loves people. Internet page 15, you know, show you what he's bred to. If he can get it up there, he, he, that baby is out of a buckskin. Gypsy stud, and I mean a shifty man. The stud stands 14-3. The mare is broke to ride. The mare is broke to ride. She'll drive on either side of the truck. She'll drive on either side. She'll drive in the shed. And she'll drive in the shed. If you come to get you a rarity, there it is right there, and I want 15,000 for it. 
If it weren't for the drought and all the horses I already had, this would have been a really good deal. I would have liked to have bought this mare, and I just didn't consider her beforehand, but um, maybe next year I'll find a deal like this. Feast your eyes on this and tell me what you changed. Hopefully she just goes really high so I don't have the pressure of making <laughs> a decision. Cool Starry Array, a 2021 model registered POA Philly. She's by Salty Array, by the Great Spanish Array. She is out of a daughter of TNE Too Real, um, who is out of Nashville Star. Absolutely gorgeous, a 21 model. What would you change? With her confirmation and her disposition, is my she's my pick of the whole sale. I like her the best so far. And I am not an Appaloosa guy. I've decided I'm gonna bid up to $1,800 on her. Let's see what she goes for. He's trying to start the bidding at two and a half and nobody's bid yet. Oh, sounds like somebody started the bidding at 3,000. So, too much risk to try to train one for a year and make a profit starting at 3,200. But she's well worth it. He's the type of pony that greets you at the gate. He's great on the ground. Great for the kids to get on and off. Good for the vet, mostly because the vet gives him treats. He's a love bug. He's great to be ridden. Walks, trots, and canters. He's been to the fun shows. He's been on the trail rides. This is one of those hard to find little guys. If you like your kids, you start them on one like this. <laughs> Well, I know you're busy and getting her ready, but I like her, so I was, do you care if I ask you about it? Well, what's, what's her story? I'm selling her for Karen Ribley. Uh, she's an older lady, 70s years old. Uh, she bought her, and she's just a little a little too jumpy for her. Like, And I wouldn't say she's jumpy. She's just a little know, too reactive for her. Right. Okay. You know, uh, she's a little hard to catch unless you have a bucket of grain. If you got a bucket of grind, she'll come right up to you. How old does they say she is? They said she's a 10 year old, and That's I believe that. Unfortunately, this mare was so far down the list that she didn't sell till late in the night, and we had already gone home. Um, but, you know, we didn't really need her anyway. But one of these days, I'm going to have to buy Emery a halflinger pony because she's always drawn to him at the sales. And to tell you the truth, I am too. But, um,. We got a whole bunch more draft horses that are going to sell tomorrow, and we have to see if we get that cart. So stay tuned for the next episode.